Hi everyone, it's me. Uh, got my prescription. Now I'm on my way home. And it is busy. Um, so maybe I'll get home sometime soon when this light changes. I did get my prescription filled, so that's one good thing. Um, I'm back home now. I don't know. I don't know how traffic is on this side. Um, going out of town. But yeah, it wasn't a bad drive overall. I knew it was going to have to be refilled, but I didn't expect them to call me to notify me that it had to be refilled. And it was less than 30 minutes later that... I got a call saying that it was ready to be picked up. So it's like, okay. So yeah, now I'm on my way home. Like I said, I didn't get much sleep today. Um, I am getting tired. Are you kidding me? People don't want to move, and but yeah, I don't know um, how many more videos I'm going to make. And the idiot that I just went around was the idiot I used to work for at the computer store. Uh, I don't trust the guy the way it is. And when I worked at that computer store, he kind of screwed people. Um, he even screwed me when I worked there. Um, this would have been 2002? 2001, 2002, something like that. Um, I was work. Oops, I went through a red light. I was uh, working there, cleaning up his shop. That was originally what I got hired for. Um, I wanted my first computer and I went in there. I don't know what possessed me when I was like 16, 17 years old to go in there, but I wanted my very first computer. I told the guy that I was working at Kroger, or was it K? I think it was either Kmart or Kroger, one of, one of the stores that I was working at and I was having problems, um, I was working and he hired me to clean the shop up. He treated me pretty poorly. But before I ended up quitting his shop, because I worked there about a year, before I ended up quitting his shop, um, I ended up learning how to build and fix computers. 
because before I quit, the one guy asked me if I wanted to learn. I said yes, so he showed me how to. And I took that skills with me as I got older, and now I'm, I build and fix computers. Um, which surprised me that the one guy was willing to show me how to do it because he said, you seem pretty smart, and that's something that I would like to train you. And after he trained me how to do it, I've been doing it for almost 16, 17 years now. Um, and I love doing working on computers. I always have. Uh, but the only problem is, after a while of working on computers, you get so tired, bored. It drives you crazy. Um, I kind of... I do it in my spare time. But I don't do it like I used to. I used to do it like all the time. But I think the most computer work that you guys have seen me do was fixing my partner's laptop, replacing the hard drive, and then doing a little bit of work on my own computer. Um, yeah, I did work on my cousin's computer, her husband's computer, and I couldn't get it working, but then I found out why. It's because Dell which now computer manufacturers are doing that, which I think is stupid. Um, they're now making the recovery where you have to download it from their website and then burn it to disk for flash drive. Um, that is kind of stupid. I don't get it. Um, I kind of miss back when, when I first got a computer and they used to make the recovery disk for them. And then you would have them with the computer, but... Now they don't do that. Because um, I kind of miss it. Uh, but, you know, I know how to make a recovery disk because I've done it for my one computer and did it for my other computer. But the thing is, is that I don't understand why computer manufacturers do that. Well, everyone, I'm going to stop right here, and I will pick back up here in a little bit. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.